Hey everyone, it's Bailey here at Future Maker. Today we're gonna to be building a digital mirror. How we're gonna be doing this is by using a Raspberry Pi. A Raspberry Pi is basically like a mini computer. It's kind of like the Arduino chip that we used last time, but this time we're gonna be loading it with software to be running a whole mirror that you can connect to with your phone. It's actually a really cool project. And uh, let's get started. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is type DAC board and get to the website. And as you're on the website, you're gonna to want to go and scroll over to blog. You wanna go ahead and click that and that will show you DIY DAC board with Raspberry Pi. What you're gonna to wanna to do is scroll all the way to the bottom, scroll to the put it all together section. Here it has the pre-configured SD card and a customized SD card. So if you buy a Raspberry Pi from them, you should get an SD card that's already been configured to this so you don't have to do this. But if you didn't, you're gonna to wanna to click the SD card you created. And there you have the DAC board OS image file from a Google Drive. You're just gonna download that real quick. And you're also gonna to wanna to download the etcher. An etcher is basically just writing the file into the SD card. So now that you have downloaded the program etcher, you're gonna to want to go ahead and open it. So when you open it, you see flash from file here. You're gonna to want to click the DAC board image file. After that, you're gonna to wanna to click the select target and you're gonna to wanna to click the SD card that you're using. I'm using a 32 gig. Um, I would suggest anywhere from 16 to 64 is a good range for that. And then once you're doing that, you're gonna to wanna to click the flash button. After it's done flashing, you're gonna to want to plug it in the Raspberry Pi. So here we have our mirror. Now. When you're building your mirror box, you wanna make sure that whatever monitor you choose, that the box is the same size and that can fit there snugly. So, here we have our monitor, and you can see that we've already pre-cut it out and had our two-way mirror glass holding it up there. So, if you wanna buy any of this stuff, there will be a link in the description down below. The next thing you want is pieces of wood. You wanna screw it in here and make sure that the monitor is going to stay in. So now that we're done screwing the pieces of wood in, we have this piece here that we 3D printed to hold the Raspberry Pi 2. So now we're gonna go ahead and put our Raspberry Pi on here. You're gonna wanna make sure the HDMI cord right here is right here. We're gonna go ahead and screw it on there. Now that the Raspberry Pi is screwed on there, you're gonna to wanna to take your SD card and slot it right underneath. Now, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and give it your HDMI and connect both the monitor and the Raspberry Pi. Now this right here is our power for the Raspberry Pi. So you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and plug it in to the micro USB port. And finally, you're gonna to wanna to make sure the monitor has power. All right, so now that we have power ready to be plugged in, let's go ahead and see if it works. So now that you have your monitor and Raspberry Pi plugged in, there should be instructions that shown up there. So first you wanna to connect to the Wi-Fi on the Raspberry Pi. That would be the DAC board zero for me. And you wanna go ahead and type the password in that it will give you. A few moments later. So now that you're connected, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and search the IP address. HTTP 10.0.0.5. So now that you have it connected to the board, you're gonna to wanna to make sure to connect to Wi-Fi because you can't update a mirror without Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna go ahead and just connect to our Wi-Fi real quick. So now that we have our Wi-Fi connected, you can go ahead and change the settings of the orientation of your monitor if you want it to sit this way or if you wanna sit vertically, however you'd like it. I'm gonna go ahead and do portrait. And 
on off schedule every day, all day. So let's go ahead and save changes. So now it wants us to go ahead and restart the DAC board by unplugging and plugging it back in. So let's go ahead and do that. A few minutes later. All right, so once you have everything plugged in, you're gonna wanna go ahead and go to the website, dacboard.com. And you're going to go ahead and create an account. I already have an account created and you wanna to go to display and devices. Now, once you go to display and devices, I already have one created here, but you're gonna to want to go ahead and click add a device, name it and create it. Now, this is the super important part. You're gonna to want to create a device that is not your own or that is your own device and not a DAC board product because we're using a Raspberry Pi, not a DAC board. So once you do that, it, it's gonna say that you have a device. Now, you're gonna wanna scroll over to the three dots here and go to info. Here you have a serial number and an ID. You're gonna to wanna to connect a keyboard to your Raspberry Pi and con click Control Alt T. Then it's gonna bring up a board here, but there is a step-by-step -step that you gotta be careful with here. You're gonna to wanna to type in the command sudo slash var slash www slash int dot sh. And it's asked for serial number. Now this will be your serial number of uh, your device on the DAC board info. Once you have your serial number entered, you wanna click enter and now it's gonna ask for the ID. You're gonna to want to go ahead and plug that in. And it's gonna go ahead and reset your device. All right, everyone, so here we are. We're gonna go ahead and customize the screen. I'm gonna name it test one. And up here on the right, you can go ahead and click add a block. Let's go ahead and we're gonna to try to do a YouTube video. Let's go ahead and do Twitter. And let's go ahead and do a weather one. Let's do this one. All right, so here, I'm gonna go ahead and click edit and let's go ahead and do future maker lab, save changes, and then let's do a link for this video. All right. So now you can go ahead and click preview and you can adjust the sizes here. And uh, let's go ahead and see preview and see what it looks like before we put it on the mirror. See, there we go, you can go ahead and see all of our stuff that we've put on social media and watch our videos. So I went ahead and I'd already had one done previously. So let's go ahead and take a look at what it looks like in real life. All right, so we filmed this in the dark to prevent any reflections. That way the camera can see what we see. You can see that this is a really cool design layout. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We have many more really cool videos coming soon. See you next time.